what happens in case of fetal circulation? I will tell you the point where they are asking the questions. First of all, from the adult circulation to the fetal circulation, what are the changes? First changes in case of fetal circulation, lung is not working. Absolutely imagine that in case of fetus age, the lung is like this. It is of no use. Lots of fluid there is in the alveoli that, that is why vascular resistance is very high. So in case of fetal circulation, the lung is not working. Okay. So as the lung is not working, from this pulmonary artery usually blood goes to the lungs right and from the lungs the blood comes with the pulmonary vein to the left side of the right but in case of fetal circulation this is not occurring first thing okay so the vascular resistance in the lung in case of fetus that's it's very high and it is of no use okay another thing there is two kind of artery and vein umbilical artery and umbilical vein always remember there is two umbilical artery these two and one umbilical vein memorize this thing this is coming they will tell you which one of the following is not true they will try to confuse you with these two and one in our body in an adult body the arteries are carrying more oxygenated blood rather than the veins right but in case of fetus this is completely reverse in case of fetus umbilical vein is carrying more oxygenated blood and the umbilical artery is uh, carrying less oxygenated blood so as their lung is not working the process of being oxygenated from the deoxygenated blood it it does how by the mother mother gives the oxygenated blood through the placenta to the fetus so from the placenta from here the oxygenated bloods are coming okay from the mother and this oxygenated blood goes to the umbilical vein first with this umbilical vein some blood will go to liver and and after the portal hypertension that is also connected with this inferior vena cava it's completely opposite previously in case of adult the vena cavas are used to take the deoxygenated blood in case of fetal circulation they take oxygenated blood okay and the rest of the blood will go through the ductus venosus to the inferior vena cava and from entire this area that from the lower part of the body below chest the blood goes with the inferior vena cava to the right atrium and from the brain a few oxygenated blood or deoxygenated blood what is needed deoxygenated blood coming to this area remember the oxygenated blood from lower part going to right atrium and a less oxygenated blood from the brain is coming to right atrium this there is a difference from the brain they will send you the deoxygenated blood because brain cannot have oxygenated blood there is no supply in the brain from the aorta the oxygenated blood will go to brain after use the rest of the blood they will backflow but from here how we will get the more oxygenated blood because it is connected with placenta brain is not okay here, here is the difference hmm? in case of fetal time there is three type of shunt that usually not runs in our body in adult body I have marked those three shunt this question is also coming this ductus venosus like from this umbilical vein to the inferior vena cava this port this ductus venosus this ductus arteriosus and this foramen ovale these three are extra three shunt that is occurring in a fetal body they don't have lungs so there should be a separate mechanism how they will continue their breathing okay so whenever the blood from the inferior vena cava and superior vena cava comes to the right atria, what does it occur? The blood directly goes to the right ventricle through this foramen ovale. And some bloods, a less amount of blood will come to right ventricle. Okay. From the right ventricle, the blood will go to pulmonary artery. The blood will go to pulmonary artery. But as in the lungs the vascular resistance is very high the blood will not be able to go to the lungs because the resistance is so high so what will they do this blood will go to the aorta directly with ductus arteriosus. so that we have seen in the cardiac catheter the connection between aorta and pulmonary artery is ductus arteriosus okay so this is one shunt this is another shunt and this is another shunt this three is special shunt for this fetus 
so already right sided blood we have managed to send to the aorta what is our main uh, purpose of this entire circulation to send all the oxygenated blood to the aorta right so whenever the blood from this right atrium goes to the right ventricle through this foramen ovale the blood will go to this way and blood will cannot go to the pulmonary ventricle the same reason increased vascular resistance they will they will not be able to uh, flow that way because the resistance and pressure will be very high to the opposite side okay then the blood will come to the left ventricle and from the left ventricle the blood will go to the aorta whenever the blood goes to aorta it supplies rest of the body the amount of blood and then the left amount of blood that is less oxygen oxygenated than the other part will go through the umbilical artery to the placenta again to back to the mother's body am i clear so far so entire this circulation you have to memorize and understand if you don't understand the circulation it will be very difficult for you to uh, to answer questions okay so this fetal circulation is very 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 important the number of artery and vein important and what they will do they will confuse you with these terms that in fetal life the vascular resistance is low is that true no it is high in fetal lung la, uh, in fetal uh, body lung is of no use there is a ductus venosus carries blood from the umbilical vein to the inferior vena cava if the question says that the blood goes from umbilical vein to superior vena cava is it true no they will try to give you this kind of questions which one of the following is right which one of the following is wrong okay so the foramen ovale ovale from where the blood is going where foramen ovale the blood is going from here to here if they tell you that the blood is going from left atrium to right atrium that is wrong usually that should occur you know in case of adult the pressure here is more but in case of fetus the pressure here is higher that is why opposite foramen ovale is kind of one kind of asd right there is a defect in the septum at interatrial septum if they tell you that the blood from left ventricle right ventricle goes to pulmonary ductus arteriosus is that true no from this ventricle blood will go to pulmonary artery then ductus arteriosus not directly okay so these things concept should be cleared to answer the questions because in the exam the options will be longer and this terms is confusing right we are habituated with the aural circulation this artery vein right left so keep this picture in your memory while answering such questions okay am i clear